Right, so we're trying to sketch a point B on a compass rose if B has a bearing 155 degrees from A. So the most important part is where is it from that you're starting at? So apparently from the question, it's from A. So this point here is A. And when we describe or find out uh, another point, which is in this case B, that has a bearing of 155 degrees, we always start from the direction of north and we rotate clockwise until we reach this angle. So this angle is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. It is actually 65 degrees more than 90. So we're going to go this much, okay? This is 90, but we're gonna go 65 degrees more than 90. So that's gonna be more than halfway because halfway is 45 and we're trying to get uh, 65 more than that 90. So it's around here, okay? So it will be in this quadrant here. And this point here, that is point two, uh, is going to be B, okay? Whereas this direction is north, okay? And that's how you do example 15. Now let's have a look at more uh, similar examples. So let's now learn how to read each letter and its bearing from point O. So point O is the middle here. We're trying to find out uh, what bearing is N. Now that would be zero degrees. Okay, but remember that we have to write three numbers as our three figure bearing or true bearings. So we're gonna write zero, zero, zero degrees. Now E, is um, east, so that is 90 degrees clockwise. So we're gonna write zero 90 degrees clockwise. South is going to be 180 degrees. West, okay, that is three times of each right angle that I'm drawing there. So that's three times 90, which is 270 degrees. Okay, so that's three times nine degrees, just like that. F is this angle. Okay, so from north to uh, that line that points to F, that is an angle of 38 degrees. Q is this one right here. Now, to find angle Q, okay, which is this angle here in purple, we've actually got to get 180 here, but subtracted by this angle here which in this case is 55 degrees. That will leave you with this remaining angle. So if I get 180 minus uh, 55, I'll just do that right here actually. If I do 180 minus 55, I'll get 125 degrees. So 125 degrees is my answer for the bearing of Q. Okay, let's find out the bearing of T. So T is right here. So if I go all the way around, okay, I need to find that angle there. So how do I actually find out? You all, you gotta find out the total of this angle that I'm shading in, okay, plus this extra 60 here that I have. So um, what would that be? This part would be 270 because that's three quadrants worth or triple 90s uh, and so we've got to add another 60 to that so that means 270 plus 60 is 330 degrees so we're gonna write 330 degrees right there okay now let's have a look at where B is so B is right here we're trying to find out the bearing of B, which is this one. Okay, so if we start from north and go clockwise, go to there. Now, you should know that three quadrants worth, okay, from north to west is 270 degrees, but we don't want this angle here. So we've got to subtract that and that will remain us with the purple angle here. So 270, minus that 45, 
okay, is going to give us 225 degrees. Okay, and that's our answer there. For part I, okay, um, we're trying to find out the bearing of H. Now, H is right here. Okay, so we're trying to find out this angle. Now, we can't find out this plus this angle to find out that um, whole angle there. But we can utilize the angle 18 degrees because if, our, if we use our knowledge of um, complementary angles, 90 degrees is the sum of this angle as well as this angle. So if I get 90 subtracted by 18, I get back this angle here. So all I have to do is get 90 minus 18, which is 72, and that's our bearing. Right, and for question J, we're finding the bearing of K. So the bearing of K, okay, where's that? That's in the bottom. So we're trying to find this angle here. Okay, so from north, you go all the way to K. And so this is comprised of a straight angle or supplementary angle, which is 180 degrees, but plus by this remaining angle, which is seven degrees. So if I get 180, seven that's 187 degrees okay so all, all of these answers are our true bearings but there's also one more other way that we can write out all these answers and that is using compass bearings so we're going to do that for question three right now right so question three says what is the compass bearing uh, or direction shown by point b in question two so um, so if we're looking at point B here, just that one there, okay, we firstly find out each compass bearing or any compass bearing by seeing whether this line is closer to this northerly direction, which I'm going to highlight. So is it closer to this one or is it closer to that one? Okay. So our answer is going to look in one of these forms. All right. So this line here, point to B, is closer to this blue one, which is south. So we're going to write south, okay? And then we're going to write some angle between there, so some angle here. And that angle represents how much you turn this blue line towards that line there. So how much does it turn? We're going to find out that by getting 90, which is this whole angle, subtracted by 45, and that is 45 degrees. So our answer for um, the bearing of B is going to be south, 45 degrees west. Okay. Now, if I wanted to do another one, let's just say, for example, if I did this one right here. Okay. And I want to write the compass bearing of that. That line there is closer to north. So we're going to say this is north, 38 degrees. But from north, we're going to turn towards this direction, towards east. So we're going to write east. Okay. Let's say if we want to find this one. Okay. T. That will be from north. Okay. You would have to turn this way towards T. And the amount you turn is going to be 90 minus that 60, which is 30 degrees. Okay, and so you're turning a total of 30 degrees towards the westerly direction. Okay, I'll do one more as an example. Let's say this one, Q. Q is very close to south, okay, the blue highlighted direction, and we're turning this much, which is 55 degrees, okay, towards the easterly direction. So this is actually south uh, 55 degrees east. So in summary, each of these compass bearings must between uh, must be begin with north or south, then some particular angle, then other east or west. Okay. Let's move on to question four. So for question four, they want us to sketch each bearing on a compass rose. So for question A, if I just draw a compass really quickly like this, okay. 
there's an only direction and we've got to turn in a clockwise direction a total of 220 degrees okay well how where which quadrant would this be at would it be the first quadrant second quadrant third or fourth now this is 90 this is 180 this is 270 okay i'm just going to write that down just for your benefit now where is 220 between 220 is between 180 to 270 so that means that we're going to draw our angle somewhere around here okay but where is it at is it closer to 270 or closer to 220 well um, 180 degrees is 40 less than this 270 is 50 more than that so it's actually closer to 180 okay so it's around somewhere here all right and that's your bearing okay but to indicate this um more clearly just write 220 degrees there okay and for question b this bearing okay is 60 degrees so from north you're only going to turn 60 degrees which is this much for question c we're turning 260 degrees so remember how we talked about uh, 390 degrees worth is 270. 260 degrees is just a little bit less than this number. So we're going to go all the way around there and be very, very close to 270, but not hit it. And that is our answer. So that's 260 degrees in total. Whereas for part D, 125 degrees. Okay. 125 degrees would be more than 90 so it's past this point but it's less than 180 so it won't reach this point either okay how much is 125 degrees more than 90 then it is 35 degrees more to be specific so 35 degrees okay is less than the halfway point because halfway is 45 degrees each okay so if we're looking at just 35 degrees more than 90 it's going to be around somewhere here okay so this angle here is 125 degrees